Hello, my name is Todd Law, and this is a demonstration of the HTTP emulation on the Agilent N2X, or product number N5577A. The HTTP software emulation package on the N2X is in fact a 100% real implementation of both HTTP clients and HTTP servers. Simulated HTTP clients may be connected to a real HTTP server, or simulated HTTP servers may be connected to a real HTTP client, or in, as shown in this diagram, simulated clients and servers may be connected through a network under test. To keep things simple and to demonstrate both HTTP clients and servers, we will use the basic back-to-back -back configuration shown in the diagram on this slide. So let's start with launching the N2X application by clicking on the N2X launchpad. The application then launches, and we can select our test ports. Since we only need two ports for this demo, I will deselect ports 3 and 4, clicking OK below to finalize the port selection. We can now see the emulation pane of the Antwex main GUI, and we can begin by adding an emulation to port 101-1. The HTTP software package actually introduces six new emulations for the N2X, HTTP v4 client, v6 client, v4 client over PPPoE client, v4 client with DHCP, v4 server, and v6 server. For this demo, I will add a single emulation of HTTP IPv4 client on test port 101-1. After creating the emulation, the properties dialog pops up, and the first thing to do is set the IP address for the HTTP client. The emulation can work through a gateway, but since in this demo we are connected back to back, I will deselect the gateway address tick box. Then let's set the IP address of the HTTP emulating test port to 10.0.0.1. And the IP address of the system under test, which in this case is also the HTTP server to 10.0.0.2. And applying the changes we've just made. Let's now take a look at the HTTP client properties for this emulation. The HTTP properties dialog allows us to set a number of items for the client emulation, including the version number, either 1.0 or 1.1, uh, the server port, uh, which is shown here as port 80, um, the ability to enable uh, redirections, uh, some priority bit settings for the associated IP packets, um, TCP parameters, including maximum segment size, maximum window size, and scrolling down, we can modify the uh, HTTP request headers, for example, to simulate GET requests from different types of browsers. So we can change the default setting from Mozilla 4.0 to Internet Explorer 5.0, simply by changing the value of a field in one of the request headers. OKing out of that and going back to our main GUI, let's create an HTTP IPv4 server on port 101-2. Scrolling down, in this case the addressing will be the reverse of what we set on the uh, simulated client side. Uh, now with the tester being the IP address of the server and the SUT address being the uh, address of the um, HTTP client. That means setting the IP address of the uh, tester or uh, server port address to 10.0.0.2 and as before on the way down deselecting the gateway address tick box option and next set the IP address of the system under test which in this case is the same as the simulated HTTP client on the other N2X test port setting the address of the system under test or SUT uh, that is the uh, HTTP client at the other end of the system to 10.0.0.1 and OKing out of that. We have finished defining the uh, simulated client and server on the two test ports. So let's go ahead and enable both of those emulations. First the client and then the server. With everything ready to go, let's get the emulations to generate some messages. For example, a common HTTP client action is a GET request which is used to retrieve web pages. Having chosen the get request from the actions drop-down menu, 
I can also now specify the exact file path for the web page to be retrieved and optionally enable the response to be stored on the N2X. Clicking OK causes the action to happen. Now let's take a look at the emulation results to see what happened. On the client side, we can see that we have sent a total of one request as expected. Likewise, on the server side, the results show that one HTTP request has been received and one HTTP response has been transmitted by the server. Scrolling down a little more, we can see some more information about the HTTP transaction. For example, the HTTP response status code, as well as the information about the TCP connection, including uh, the good put octets and the numbers of connections. And that completes the basic demonstration of HTTP emulation on the Agilent N2X. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch this demonstration.